guys, welcome back to my channel for today's video. I feel like I'm not in frame. <laughs> um, yes, for today's video, we are doing two looks, one palette with the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab. Um, the lighting's going to be kind of weird in this video, I feel. I'm like closer to the window than usual, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But I did get the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay Press Pigment Palette. Um, yeah, and I'm really excited to play with it. I haven't seen, like, many people using this palette. I don't know if it was, like, hard to get. But for me, it was, like, really easy as opposed to the <laughs> Pure and Raw Beauty Prestige collab that didn't go so well this was like super smooth so I'll tell you like a bit more about the ordering process because I like to do that in my videos because I am Canadian and you guys know if you are also in Canada that it's hard to get some products um, to us so yeah so just keep watching if that's something you are interested in so I wanted to show you I kept the box because I thought it was super cute um, I don't know how well you can see. So like the whole box was like Nikki Tutorials themed, which I thought was a nice touch. So you see the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay. And then on the sides it had like some imagery that I thought was cute. So I kept the box just for that. Oh, and the inside. So it opened like this. And it had her name on the inside too. Um, and then the actual palette came in its own box, another nice touch, I really like the like keyhole, and there's a note from her on the back. It says, hello guys, it's me, Nikki, hello. I am beyond excited for you to finally see this, my palette in collaboration with Beauty Bay. I am so grateful for this opportunity, and this time we're doing it right for everybody. So, <laughs> I thought it was really funny. She's kind of like throwing shade at Too Faced because if you guys didn't know, she did have a collab with Too Faced like years ago before I even knew about beauty YouTube and it really didn't go so well and she got like screwed over. So yeah, I thought that was funny. So she said, this palette truly showcases my life and personality. You guys know that I'm all about bright and unique makeup looks, but this palette also shows a different, darker side of me. I can't wait to see the looks you'll create, from dark and mysterious to bold and new, uniquely you. This palette is my safe place, my temple, and this never would have happened without the support of my glow babies. I love you. So I thought that was really cute. Um, so because it's like she said, like the theme of the palette was like her bright and her dark side, that's why I wanted to do like two looks. And I think I can do like a more neutral, like wearable look at least for me but I also want to play with the colors so yeah I guess I'll do the colorful one today because I'm not going anywhere so I can experiment if I want anyway so this is the box and then inside it was wrapped all nicely in bubble wrap which I appreciate since it came from the UK and this is the palette so there's another little card inside um, and it tells you on this so she said I want you to make the most out of these gorgeous shades so I want to show you how to master their full potential. Some of the formulas work best when applied with a shadow brush to build them up while others work better when applied with the fingers. Check out the symbols on the other side to see which have fun to see which have fun creating. So it's a little card that has um, the symbols to tell you if you should use the shade with a brush or with a finger and some of them, yeah, they all say, like none of them say finger only, so yeah, it's just a little um, card like that. And this is the palette. I really like how it looks. It's nice and heavy. It feels really like good quality. So she, like she said, there's like a bright side and a dark side. 
And the dark side is really funny, if you guys can see. It has like a skeleton giving the finger to the makeup shamers. I thought that was funny. Um, so unlike the Raw Beauty Christie one, which is kind of like the same idea, it's like duality. She had one like colorful side and one neutral side. This The inside of this palette is not really like that. It's kind of just, um, there's colors everywhere. I should take the plastic off, right? So the palette itself is not really like divided by neutral and colorful. It's all just like spread out. And some people like I saw didn't, not that they didn't like it, but they were just kind of expecting it to be different. But I really like the color story of this palette, like how it is um, laid out. And yeah, and it has two mirrors, it has, um, a regular mirror here, it says I am me, and then there's another mirror on this side, but it's actually a um, like a close up mirror, so that was cool. I've never seen that in a palette before, so yeah, I think we'll just play with this. Um, I think I'll do like I'll give you some swatches. Um, well, that's a bit ambitious, I'll have to film that and insert it somewhere, <laughs> but. I think it's like more helpful because um, on camera, like, I don't know how well it's picking up, but the shimmers in this palette look amazing. Like, they look like almost like creamy, like liquids in the pan. So um, we'll see how it goes. I have seen some reviews already on this palette. Uh, and people are not like super impressed with the matte shades, but we'll see how it goes for me. Cause I don't, I don't like pack on a lot of color when I do my eye looks. I'm very like light handed, especially with colors. I don't wear them often, so it's not going to be anything crazy, but I think I'll just get started because this has been a really long intro already. Oh, and I just want to give you guys a little sneak peek because uh, I also bought the uh, Carnival palette by uh, Be Perfect Cosmetics. It's the Stacy Marie collab, I guess. This is not new, but it's new to me. I've never tried anything from Be Perfect before. And because I was ordering from Beauty Bay, um, I just threw that in because, yeah, the shipping. So, oh yeah, before, well, I'll get into the eye look and I'll talk about the shipping. So yeah, you might see that palette in another video. I'm just like into playing with colors lately, I don't know. I don't know who I think I am, but yeah. So yeah, I said this would be a colorful look. And the first thing, like when I look at this palette, this like quadrant here really caught my eye because I just thought all those colors look so nice together. And I think that's what I want to do today. Yes. So, yeah, I'm just thinking. Oh, and I did prime my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer potion. I think I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go in with the orange shade Redemption. Oh, it's very pigmented already. I'm gonna attempt to use the mirror. So I'm using this as my transition shade. Normally, you guys know I go in with like a mid tone brown, but I just wanna try something new. And I don't want to build this up too much at first, but it's blending really easily. It's kind of more like a creamsicle shade. It looks very vibrant on camera, but in person it's more, yeah, like a muted orange. Not as like crazy as I thought it might be, but I, I like it so far. So yeah, about the shipping and all that so um this palette 
was $37 Canadian, which I think is a really fair price, especially for like such a big palette and a collab with like one of the most popular makeup YouTubers. Um, but then <laughs> obviously I had to pay um, shipping, which I don't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but I did get the two palettes. Um, and then I had to pay duties to bring it to me. So the duties were like $22 added on to the two, the cost of the two palettes. So it wasn't horrible, but, and I was like kind of expecting it, but I did a lot of research on Beauty Bay before buying because I didn't want to get hit with like an insane customs and duties fee. And everyone was saying like they didn't get charged anything. So I was like, oh, so there's a chance I won't get charged, no. <laughs> I had to pay and um but I guess it was kind of quick it did get lost like in the mail for a few days where like even when I checked it they like didn't know where it was but it's Canada Post so what do I expect but yeah so finally obviously I have it now so <laughs> but just a warning like if you do shop from Beauty Bay and you ship to Canada I'm like 100% sure you'll get charged um, duties. But that being said, the price of both palettes, because I actually got the other one on sale as well, so it wasn't like a huge issue, you know? So, but just something to keep in mind. Um, but yeah, the ordering process was actually super easy. Oh, and I got, because um, I, I signed up, they had like a waiting list, and I think they still have one for the next restock, so check that out. I'll leave the link below. Um, I, I think that's what's happening. But yeah, because I like got it early, they actually sent me a pop socket, um, which I was really happy about because I always wanted to. <laughs> so it's just like a cute, like the Beauty Bay logo and it says Nikki. But yeah, just wanted to mention that too. So anyway, now I'm going to go in with the pink shade Blend and Snap, this one here. I don't really know what I'm doing, so we're just experimenting together. Wow, that's very bright, if you can see. So I'm still going like above the crease. Um, but not as high as the orange. Ooh, I like this color. It's more true to the color in the pan than the orange shade was. And I'm just doing one eye, as you can see, on camera, and then I'll do the other one, because this will be a long video already. That shade is blending super nice, too. I think for the whole lid, I'm going to do the shimmer shade, which is Broxy Catan. This shade here looks so pretty. I'm just going to put that all over the mobile lid. I'm going to go in dry first just to see what it looks like, but then I might wet my brush. Actually, does this one... So Roxy Catan, yeah, it has a brush and a finger on the little card here. So yeah, let's just see with the brush. I always like to do my shadows first with brushes anyway, because I feel like I get more precise and like I have pretty long nails right now. So using my finger is not always easy. I'm going to try this brush here. This is just a flat. Tart brush. Oh yeah, I think I'm definitely not gonna get a lot on the brush. It's like one of those formulas that's like um, very, like almost like a cream to powder. So it's kind of flaking on the brush here. You can see. Uh, is it focusing? I can't tell, I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> But uh, let's just 
see how it goes. Oh. Okay, yeah. You definitely don't just want to like go and fluff this all up unless you want glitter everywhere because it is quite flaky, the formula. Oh, I really like the shade though. You can see that's very nice. So let's just put some with the finger. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah, definitely more payoff with the finger. I love it. Very nice. I'm just going to go back with the brush I put the pink on just to like blend that together. Mm -hmm. I really like it. And the orange shade, I just want to build it up a little. This was like so easy. <laughs> I was a bit worried. For the lower lash line, because I know I want to use the yellow, this like color here. It's called VLA. Um, but I, yeah, I, I think I just want to put the yellow on the inner corner. So I'm going to put the orange on the lower lash line as well just with like this MAC um, 219 pencil brush like that and maybe just a bit of the pink shade on the outer corner and there's not like a crazy amount of kick up in the pan sometimes with pressed um, pigments it's kind of crazy but it's not that much maybe this yellow had the most if I'll show you I don't even think you can see that but I mean I don't really mind that anyway most people don't care Ooh. Okay, I got a flake. Okay, <laughs> we have a little bit of a crisis. Can I? I should zoom you in. Maybe. Oh, it is zoomed in the most it can be. Can you guys even see? I feel like the light is washing me out a little, but um, yeah. I think it's not as like neon as I was expecting, but it's still pretty um, bright. I know there's like the shade in the Anastasia Prism palette that's kind of like this. Maybe it's more like green yellow, if I recall. And that one you have to like build it and build it and build it. This one like you can see the color right away, so just something to note. I like that a lot though. Um, yeah, so like I said, people were like saying the mattes weren't the greatest, but I feel like that was so easy. That was so easy to blend and like the colors just blended together. I really like it. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to attempt to do a wing. Could ruin everything and I won't be able to do it on camera, that's for sure, because I have to be like super close to my mirror. So I will come back hopefully with the other eye done as well and that will be the first look that I'll show you. Okay, so this is the first look with the Nikki Tutorials and Beauty Bay collab. I love it. Um, that was super easy to do and I'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> for pulling off 
um, such a colorful look and wing liner, which was a disaster, by the way. I have to, I used the Starlux Pro Lux Longwear Eyeliner Pen. This is super cold um, and dry and crumbly. <laughs> So it was very difficult. I hope um, you can't see too much of my mistakes on camera, but yeah, the whole thing had to clean up underneath and everything. So, but and aside from that, I love the eyeshadows. I love these two colors together. The shimmer is beautiful. Yeah. Um, that's all I have to say for now. So, I mean, I guess I was a bit safe because you guys know that I really like orange eyeshadow so it wasn't like super out of my comfort zone. Um, I didn't use like these colors here, this blue, this green, which like I would like to do but yeah. I don't know. That's all I have for now. I will be back to show you a more neutral look. Okay, so I'm back to do my second look. Like I said, it's going to be a more neutral, everyday kind of look because I kind of want to show that you can do colorful and more um, neutral looks with this palette. Also for myself, just to test the palette the way I would test like any other eyeshadow palette. So yeah, we'll just jump right in. And since I filmed the first part of this video, I did notice that the palette is back in stock on Beauty Bay. I think I said Beautylish before. It's Beauty Bay. <laughs> I've never bought anything from Beautylish, so anyway. And I did prime again with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. Uh, it, had really good results last time, so yeah. I think I'm gonna go in first with the shade Basic Tripped, this one here. I don't think it's gonna do much on my skin tone, but just to see, it's a good transition shade. Yeah, it's pretty much like my skin tone, but I guess more taupe. It's a very interesting shade, actually. Yeah, it did give a little depth if you can tell. The lighter shades, like the lighter matte shades in this palette definitely have more kick up just if you care about that. Then I'm going to go in with a deeper shade, the shade Mila, which is this shade here. It's almost a little mustardy. So I'm kind of taking that in the same area, but um, kind of blending it down more in my outer corner. And then for the crease, I'm going to go in with 5am, which is this like deeper brown shade here. Just right in the crease. Oh, yeah, that's... <laughs> Okay, that's a bit darker than I was expecting. Kind of just putting that um, on the outer corner too, just for some more dimension. I like how this is blending. Yeah, so though this is like the exact steps that I would do for like an everyday look. I just go in with. Um, transition shade and then a deeper transition shade and then an even deeper one. Very simple. And then of course for the lid I want to do one of the shimmer shades so Ooh, there's a lot of good 
I mean, really any of the three shimmer shades here can work. Um, this one here, which is underground. This one is Mr. Tutorials. I think that one's more like a duochrome. And then this one all in. This one. Hmm, what do I want to do? I think I want to do underground. This one here. And like I did with the first one, um, I'm going to go in with a brush first. But I will probably then pack it on with my finger. This one definitely needs a finger. But I just want to lay down the shade first. That's really sparkly and nice. Wow. And I'm not going to take it all the way to the edge. This one is very um, flaky kind of. But look, I mean... That's dry, so, yeah. And I'm just going to go back in. Is this the brush that I used? I think so. Just to blend those matte shades out here. I don't want to take it up as high as the colorful look because that's not something I would do normally. I already love this. I have to say, like, this has been one of the easiest palettes to use. Like, the colors just go right on and they blend so easily. And there's not a lot of, like, having to go back and pick up more shadow. I really am liking this. Um, I think for the bottom, I really just want like a very small amount of the shade Mila just to like bring it together. I never usually leave my bottom, uh, what do you call that? I don't know. I never usually leave this area blank. So we're just going to do that with a small brush. This, I would use a pencil brush, but um, it still has a shadow from the last look that I did. So I don't want to get it mixed up. Uh, you could even do like this lid and then like a colorful under. Why have I forgotten what that's called? You could put like a colorful shade here and that one looked really nice too, but just for the purpose of doing a neutral look. I just want a bit of color, like shadow down here. Just that much. For the inner corner, do I want to do ivy? I think that has a pink shift though, if I remember. It might be too much sparkle. I think I'm just going to do a matte inner corner again. And I'm just going to use the shade Basic Trip, which I wish I could pronounce correctly, but I don't speak Dutch, so... Yeah, and it's not really going to do much, um, but just to like blend everything together. It does have a bit of brightness, actually. Do I want to put some on my brow bone too? Yeah, I'm just going to dip one more time into the basic trick just to give some more brightness up here. And that's it. I'm going to do the other eye and I will come back to show you the final second look. Okay, so this is the final look using the Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette. You can see my mirror. Uh, so for my final thoughts, I had a really good time with this. Um, with both looks, I mean, everything just worked out how I wanted it to. There was no like blending issues or patchiness. 
um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. And I think that if you, even if you're someone that doesn't normally go for colorful looks like myself, you will still really like this palette because really it's not that colorful. I think it's just that this like blue and this shade and the red, at first they really pop out and you're like, oh, that's very colorful. But really like the whole palette together, you can do a variety of looks. And even the colors that are in here are very workable, I feel. And I just wanted to mention too, this shade, if you can see, there's like a dent in it. So the more like I worked my finger into there, it became very like putty-ish. So that's the kind of um, texture these shimmers are. Just to give you an idea, it's definitely best to go in with your fingers. So if you don't like doing that, you would probably have to use like MAC Fix Plus or some kind of thing to wet your brush. But other than that, yeah, I really like this. There wasn't much fallout either. I did get a few like glitter specks from the shimmer shades, but I just like wiped them off with my brush like this. I just went and it came right off. So yeah, I think that's all I have to say about this. So if you like this video, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! So I decided to put this in at the end of the video because um, it's a lot of colors and they don't all fit in frame at the same time. So yeah, we'll just do a little swatch session. Here's the first row. Um, we have Redemption, Blend and Snap. Ivy, Slasher, and 5AM. You can see there. Great, and a car alarm. Okay. <laughs> then we have uh, Roxy Catan, VLA, Mikai, Mila, and Underground. These are swatching pretty good. I don't know why people keep saying the mats aren't good. They look so great. The next row, which I did a really bad job <laughs> of swatching. So we have a plot twist. Aura. This one was so nice when I swatched it. A basic trip which I'm not pronouncing correctly, but it means basic bitch in Dutch. This one is so interesting. It's like a duochrome, because right now when I look at it, it's like a light champagne, but on camera, it's like a dark brown almost. So I don't know if you can see the shift, kind of. Um, but that one is all in, and then the green shade is ew. You, you know, but you have to say it like, oh. <laughs> and then the last row. So we have Pride, Zomer, which means summer in Dutch. I learned all this from her video, so you can watch that if you don't believe me. <laughs> this one was like so creamy. This was Mama Tutorials. I love that shade. Then this one is Amsterdam, and then Mr. Tutorials. These two feel like almost like cream shadows. They're so nice. Yeah, so there's the swatches.